Guys, I want to welcome you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you back to uh, to another modern stream. Eric, thank you so much for the, for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. You are the hero this stream needs. We're going to make a team rhythm deck. And it's going to be modern. And we're going to play all the persist creatures. Not all of them, but the good ones, right? Glenelinger Archmage can be a three of. Murderous Redcap, we can get a two of in there. <gasps> Woodfall Primus. How can we cheat out a Woodfall Primus? Greater Gargadon. Greater Gargadon is infinite with any of the Persist creatures, right? That seems good. I mean, he's not infinite, but like... Well, yeah, he's infinite. Yeah, he's infinite. I want to put in one Woodfall Primus just for funsies, right? Kitchen Finks is obviously a four of, I believe. Maybe there's one more red cap in the deck. Oh, I got this promo red cap. Let's do that one. Because we're not savages, you know? Like, you're not a savage. Is she, is she not a sav is this all the this is all the persist creatures? Well, that's unfortunate. What does River Kelpie do? Whenever another permanent is battlefield from a graveyard, draw a card. Whenever another player cat. Um, that's fascinating. Greater, greater Gargledons. Okay, this is our one sack outlet now because it's not super relevant. We don't really need it. But Okay. Birds of Paradise obviously a must have. <clears throat> Are there persist creatures that I don't own maybe? Maybe. Let's check out the zero. Oh, Thunderblust. Persistent Nightmare. That is not a persist creature. It just has persist in the name. Uh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Twilight Shepherd. It's white. We're not going to get into We're not going to dabble in the white arts. That's racist. It's not, though. It's not. It's okay. Uh, no. Airy Oofs. What about Trap Draw Kelpie? This guy's pretty good, right? No, he's actual hot trash. That was just that was a test. Whenever enters a fellow's creature control game, tap this creature deals two damage to any target until the end of the turn. Hmm. Hmm. Hot Menda. Yeah, we definitely want Malira too. Malira's just perfect for this deck. Uh, what is this? At the end of your upkeep, remove an one counter for each creature you control. And then this guy persists, too. I don't think you want any more four drops. Do we have any cool kitchen finks? Probably not. Quantity onesies. I'm having deja vu. Yeah, I mean, this is actually loosely inspired by, um, by the Spencer deck that we played the other day. But I guess we're just kind of tweaking it now. We're going to be like, hey, let's put the the good cards in here, not the crap cards. <laughs> just kidding. That was totally a joke. What about Devoted Druid? I don't know. What about it? <laughs> See how aggressive I was there? All right, so Devoted Druid, put a negative one, negative one counter on it. The problem is it doesn't really combo with rhythm, right? I guess it's good with Malira still. But you do get one extra activation if you play it post rhythm. I don't think that does it though. The problem is rhythm rhythm negates the one one the plus one plus it negates the negative one negative one counter that persist creatures come with. Whenever a player or another permanent enters battle from a graveyard, so if we get River Kelpie down and we can start just sacrificing dudes, there's got to be another sacrifice outlet, right? I'm gonna look it up. I'm going to search for sacrifice with a colon, which sounds really weird. Can't you activate twice? Yes, but then it dies, right? 
but then it dies. Uh, text is so like viscerous here. Uh, sacrifice. Yeah, this is. We're just gonna look for the sacrifice creature colon. Um, and we're gonna have blue, red, and green. At most, these colors legality and modern. And then we're gonna search again. This is rough. Oh, you have a Arguel's Bloodfest. Is that because it's a land? I guess so. <coughs> Actually, Blasting Station. This could be the Blasting Station deck. Sacrifice creature, Blasting Station deals one damage to target creature or player. Whenever a creature comes into play, you may untap Blasting Station. So you tap it, you sacrifice a Kitchen Finks, right? Kitchen Finks comes back. It persists due to rhythm. I like one Blasting Station. Or maybe two. We'll put two in for now. But again, so we don't have to go through the same thing last time. Uh, you can only... We want things that don't tap. And this, this gets away with it because it untaps itself. And we want things that are free because we don't want to be paying mana every single turn. That's That prevents us from going infinite. Let's put some Cinder Vines in the sideboard. Cinder! I think I said that was from... Uh, wow, why did you remove that Blasting Station? Dude, Magic Online is so weird. Cinder Vines. Oh, Cinder Vines! Take me by the hands and the other man. Do you think the Modern Horizons will have fetch land replacement? No. No, I do not. There's no need for it. Right? Like. Plus, like, if it's a fetch land replacement, then, then decks are able to run, like, a million more fetch lands. Not like they would. But, like, then you get, like, your blue red decks can just run eight scalding tarns instead of. You know, four four scalding cards and then two two red ones and two blue ones. Like there's just, there's just no reason for it. Fetch lands aren't that prohibitive, right? Like wooded foothills. Let's look at a wooded foothills right now. Yeah, like windswept heath is like fifteen bucks each. Wooded foothills are like twenty five bucks each. Like if you're playing modern, you should you should expect to like just have these cards. If that makes sense. Would the wish cycle be too good? Probably not. You already have similar things in modern. I mean, you already have glittering wish, right? Ooh, do we want glittering wish? No, we don't. Is four birds? Um, I don't love hierarch because it doesn't cast any of these red cards. Like it doesn't help with double red on murderous red cap. It doesn't help with rhythm, and rhythm is what you want to ramp into. So we'll f we'll find out. We'll figure it out. There's not a ton of great sacrifice outlets, unfortunately. They all either tap or they require mana, which are pretty rough. Not what we're looking for here. Yeah, Burning Wish in Scape Shift seems pretty solid. Hmm. I mean, we have Greater Garganon right now, and we have two Blasting Stations. That's six Sacrifice Outlets. That's pretty good. Also, one of them you can't counter or remove, which is just great. <coughs> that might be enough. How many other? There's 232 cards with Sacrifice on them in Modern? Jeez. That is a lot. That is more than I expected. We're looking for more two drops. What what good two drops are there? So we want to go steam vents. Breeding. And swamping. Nope, not these ones. These ones. Uh, 
play four wooded, wooded, two misty, and two scalding. This is 16 lands. Basics we want. Forest for sure. What is our trick to getting this Woodfall Primus into the deck, into the into play? Let's go basic land, not forest. Why do I look at forest? <clears throat> would Living Wish not make Tron decks even more consistent? Um, why would why would Living Wish make them more consistent? Can you Living Wish for lands? I mean, what's the difference between Living Wish and Sylvan? I mean, Sylvan Scrying does the same thing, right? And also, how, it wouldn't make it more consistent because you're putting one of each of your Tron lands into the sideboard. So each each Tron deck is only going to have three of each Tron land in the main deck. That seems worse. Because then you're gonna you're gonna living wish on two to get one of your Tron lands, but then you're also gonna have you're gonna have to have the other two Tron lands on turn one and and two. You know, and like, and and you only have three of each now instead of four of each. So you have nine. You have twenty five percent fewer Tron lands in your deck. All right, so I think sacrifice outlets are fine. On um, we do want like three more lands here. I do like like one noble hierarch. I was like, where are they? There you go. Do we have zero still on? Yeah, let's put one back on. Nope, don't like that. <laughs> Michael Scott dot gif. Um, what are some lands we're missing? We have eight fetches. Uh, let's, what does the other one look like? How do we play this 8-mana creature that I really want to play? Do we have any way to generate infinite mana? I don't think so. I, I really hate... I hate Fastlands, but I think that's a good suggestion. So. There you go. Guess what got built in my town? A Hungry Howie's. That's gas, dude. <laughs> nice. Um, I like Raging Ravine. I just think it's a solid card. I like having one Raging Ravine in these mana bases. What was the other the team or other deck that we played yesterday? Team Revisions? What does that deck have? It's got all the breeding pools. <clears throat> we could just play something like Jace or Bloodbraid Elf, but... We do want some form of removal, though. Oh, we're playing a lot of teamer decks, which is interesting. We could also play, like, Remands. <clears throat> I, I love Woodfall Primus, but I don't know if we're actually going to ever cast this card. Although, if we have, like, Greater Gargadon, just destroying all their permanents is pretty sweet. But again, it's 8 mana, and our only, like, ramp is Birds of Paradise and stuff. I guess we'll add another breeding pool. It's 22 lands. Probably do want one mountain just so we can search for it. I hate getting it, but... Is there any creature that really benefits from having haste? Tarmogwip's pretty good here. Maybe. I also thought this was a Sultai stream. It's not. It never is. No, it usually is. <clears throat> Scavenging is? Yeah, it's alright. 
Let's put some lightning bolts in here first. Snapcaster doesn't hit anything, so that's that's okay. Let's get some graveyard things. I'll actually crumble. Uh, crumble to dust is pretty gas. One, two, three. <clears throat> Add two surgicals. Uh, what do our other deck have? <clears throat> uh, Rex Sage, I do like ways to deal with that. Fracturing Gust. I think the sideboard is actually pretty solid, except for the Kitchen Finks, which gives us extra slots. I like two Scavenging Ooze, a Fracturing Gust. Yeah, those are all those are all good enough to just keep using. Fracturing Gust. Man, River Kelpie in Modern. Can you imagine? <clears throat> Scavenging ooze. And what else did we have? Oh, we have Cinder Vines instead of Rex Sage. Which is fine. Uh, Relic. What's a main board? What is that? I would like to have two more two drops. Maybe it's just scavenging news. I could see scavenging news just being fine in the main deck. Um, just add one to the sideboard. Maybe like, actually negates could be good. It's gonna get, how about this spell? What are we missing? We have Fraction Gust and Cinder Vines for like the artifacts and enchantments. We have uh, Surgical Scoos and Relic for artifacts. I think it's just the spell. Yeah, that seems good. I like that. <clears throat> oh, Prime Speaker seems interesting, right? Hmm. It's that Kitchen Fix into Red Cap, Red Cap into Kelpie. Um, it's possible. It's not bad. Actually, Dismember's probably better than Roast in the other deck, too. Yeah, let's put Dismember in here over Roast, right? Like, why did I forget Dismember? I feel like I just totally forgot Dismember in this deck, so. Uh, what are we forgetting? These two are gone, so this is five slots gone. This is Cinder Vines. We have two free slots uh, and two free slots here. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> so let's go back to... We have to borrow Cinder Vines, which we will do through ManaTraders.com. So if you guys are looking for a service that lets you borrow either physical magic cards or digital magic cards on Magic Online, definitely check out ManaTraders.com. They have both of those services, and you can go through uh, my link and promo code in the description to get 20% off your first three months, which is a pretty sweet deal. <clears throat> so I'm going to add three of these bad boys. And I actually don't think I have a Vanifar. I think we're fine without Vanifar for now. It just has to untap. What about Eldritch Evolution? I kind of like Eldritch, Ev Eldritch Evolution in the deck. Like we can sack a Malira into like a one of these guys or <clears throat> Kitchen Finks into one of these guys. Either way, we're gonna wait for these cinder vines, and then we're gonna give this get the give it the old college try. <clears throat> That's true. It cannot get a sacrifice outlet. We're just gonna have to have Greater Gargadon on our blasting station. That's the problem. The sacrifice outlets are so important. But I mean, like, 
the funny thing is, like, if we have River Kelpie, do we need do we even need a River Kelpie? Because once we have the River Kelpie, um, it implies we have a sacrifice outlet already. And we already have another persist creature. Actually, if you don't, if it's just River Kelpie rhythm and a sack outlet, then it's actually not. Yeah, that actually seems fine. Uh, Goblin Bombardment is not legal in modern. I wish it was. That'd be great. Otherwise, I would. Otherwise, that would just be the default go-to for this deck, for every <clears throat> every persist Malira deck ever. Please don't touch the Kelpie. I want this to happen. Deal. Uh, Goblin Bombardment actually scares me in, in Modern Horizons. That would be a little bit, a little bit much, I think. We're just waiting for Mana Traders to open the trade with me. Desecrated Tomb? What is Desecrated Tomb? Uh, when one of our creatures leaves your graveyard. That's interesting. I feel like once creatures are leaving our graveyard, though, like, we're probably already ahead. It also doesn't trigger ry rhythm because rhythm is non token creatures. Get rid of that. We can close this league. Oh, I guess that's closing everything. All right, let me actually just open up Mana Traders. <clears throat> Mana Traders. Underscore. Can I add? All right, it's gonna have to figure. And buddy, how do I know which one this is? Oh no! Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, trade. This might actually be a Magic Online issue. <laughs> Because trade just isn't opening, so. Yeah, this is not. Because it doesn't even say, like, waiting for your trade partner. Yeah, alright, we'll just use Rex Sage for now. <clears throat> Perforous doesn't win us the game, though, right? Like, I mean... I mean, Perforous doesn't... Like, it's not a combo piece. It's just a... Like, so Perforous gives you the damage if your creatures are already recurring, but Malira makes them recur. So you're taking out something that's that keeps the engine going for a card that like when you have the engine going which is like murderous red cap or kitchen finks you're already winning like if you're recurring a murderous red cap enough times to trigger perforos you're already winning because you're recurring a murderous red cap enough times like it just doesn't <clears throat> just play 61 then what could go wrong all right we're just gonna play it like this uh, cute. Oh, we're doing it. Uh, team or rhythm. Let's do it. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. I want to get more games of Magic in during the... I want to get more games of Magic in. I was thinking about starting to play MTGO. Would it be worth it if I only hop on and play three or four matches a day? <clears throat> I mean, 
that's really up to you. I mean, if you think three to four matches a day, like sometimes if I don't play Magic Online, I don't even play three to four matches a day. Like, but I mean, as far as value goes, yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. <clears throat> I mean, if I didn't play Magic Online, I probably wouldn't play Magic. You know what I mean? Like, I play very little Paper Magic, so. Why does this deck need a Tezzy boy? <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. <clears throat> I'm just going to play Breeding Pool because we have all the, all the basic boys now. Those basic boys are at it again. Let's play a Malira here. Fascinating Malira. Oh, a Baral. Oh, a lightning bolto. Where did your stupid barrel go? Yeah, Stream Decker's not updated. That is correct. Appreciate the heads up. But we just built this deck, so there was no deck to load into it. Oh man. Everybody says it. Everybody thinks everybody everybody's telling me it's different now. Let's get a steam vents here. Is it Kitchen Finks or is it Red Cap here? It's Kitchen Finks because then we can keep the steam vents tapped and not take a million. And I'm not afraid of them going two drop into like, I don't know, ritual, ritual, win condition. Like, that feels like it'd be uh, pretty ambitious. Yep. And we're just going to kill that guy too. Oh, goodbye again. <clears throat> I don't like your guys. So I'll see you later. Would Zemek Guildmage be worth considering to fight another rhythm or the wild effect? Um, I don't think so, just because it's way too much. It's way too mana intensive. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is this is great. This is so great. <clears throat> Guys. Don't cry for me, Goblin Electromancer. I don't know why the Goblin Electromancer would be crying for me. That doesn't even make any sense. Just put all your your crappy creatures in the trash can, my dude. So you're dead on board. You gotta, you gotta win here or never. Let's go to game two. Let's go to game two. I mean, Gargadon off the top or not Gargadon off the top and we win. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to bring in Negates. Lightning Bolts are actually surprisingly good there. Take out a Kelpie. Take out one Red Cap. Take out one Finks. 
Scavenging news is probably all right. Take out a Malira. Take out a no. I'm just taking out a bunch of things that are kind of like, and then we can bring them back in if we need to. Surgical extraction is probably good. Dispel pretty good. We also have scavenging ooze. Mm. Probably rather have the other dispel rather than one surgical. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this in. That's pretty good. All right, let's go grab. <clears throat> got a blue, got a blue. Uh, let's just grab a breeding pool here. Oh, second turn rhythm into third turn scavenging news and negate up. That seems good. Can we kill that guy? No. No, we cannot. I'm going to get a forest here. <clears throat> I don't want to take too much damage. See, now we're probably dead. Chiposhi, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. <clears throat> Yeah, did we take out a lightning bolt? We definitely want to be able to kill these guys on site. We did not. Okay. I mean, what is this? Turn three. Like, it is what it is. It's kind of funny if they get their storm count to 14 and then they just have to attack us and deal us 13. You go to one. They did nothing.
One one counter or haste? Eh, one one counter is probably better. All right, your move. <laughs> is brandishing and I does brandishing entail that you're using it against someone, like showing it to someone? Let's look up brandish. To wave or flourish as a threat or an anger or excitement. I don't think it's either of those. I don't think this would be uh, considered brandishing. Oh gosh, dang it. Ugh, biscuits. This guy would have killed this guy, but this would have killed this. So it's kind of awkward. Wait! Rhythm of the wild, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, 1-1 one, one counter, kill it, that's gas, that's, you're pretty excited a second, hey man, listen, listen buddy, wow, I thought we were dead, and now we're still alive, and you just keep having these guys, come Shut on, sack out money. Money. oh, just another murder shirt cap, good evening, what's going on, Kretz, good seeing you buddy. Um, one, two, three, four. I just really have no desire to let these guys ever live. How many you got? Wow. Gas. Sure. We're at 12. I don't feel terrible here. Okay, they did nothing. Fantastic. So now we get to keep up Negate and Scavenging is? Alright, well. I'm game. I feel like this is... Nah, we can just 1-1 one, one counter it, right? We'll just take 6 and then they take a million next turn. And there's at least 2 creatures in graveyards to eat. So that's for sure. That's for true. Like, if they try to kill this, we get to eat a thing. Yeah, okay. I mean, you've drawn f four of those guys. This is this is gonna be negatable. This is negatable. <laughs> That's gonna refill your hand, and I'm not I'm not about that. You also you can cast gifts on given here, but you have no mana, so now you're just green. Let's eat an electromancer, make this guy a four four. And we can actually Kitchen Finks give haste, which seems pretty good, and that's probably gonna be game. Wow. Oh, we just beat Storm. That's pretty cool. I thought they were going to be, like, real crappy about it, but now they're just, like, I got... Yeah, that first, like, Past in Flames, uh, where they, like, felt like they were going off, that seemed pretty unlucky. Yeah, so they block here, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, like, we're still way ahead, but... All right, so that was pretty cool. Hey, that was pretty cool. Let's see if we can open this trade again. I think my trade just might be broken. I should probably restart, I guess. Was there anything we didn't like? I 
not really. I mean, we have River Kelpies in our deck. What's there not to like? Also, Cinder Vines would have been insane against that matchup, where we just like, all right, play all your spells and take a bajillion. Yeah, hold on. Let me restart this just to make sure we're... I'm still a fan of Eldritch Revolution in here somewhere. Well, that's great, but we were already going to take the River Kelpies out, and you said not to. So listen, buddy. Listen. We can only do so much. <laughs> you guys, uh... You guys like LaCroix? Here are, the new, here are some new LaCroix flavors. You got uh, transported in a truck near bananas. That's close. Hint of hint of lime. That's nice, because sometimes you don't want too much lime. Uh, a single Skittle dissolved in water, also a solid flavor. A shy watermelon. And imagine like a strawberry, but with a low battery. <laughs> That's good. Those are some solid, uh, those are some solid, uh, some solid flavors. All right, let's try again. Okay, we're doing it. What up, Austral American? Oh, dang it. All right, hold on. I want these cinder vines. Let's do it again. Yeah, that was a problem on my end where, like, they probably tried to open the trade a bunch of times and they were like, hey, buddy, listen, your thing is broken. Trades are not working. And I'm like, okay, I understand. I like that we just beat Storm. I mean, I think we got lucky, but, like, we didn't get lucky in game one. We just kind of... We have a lot of ways to kill their stupid bears, you know, like the lightning bolts and the merch red cappy boys. I would add the ghost of peaches and imagining the pear you dreamt about eating. Those are also good flavors, yeah. That's a good peach and uh, and pear flavor. What sort of crazy man I saw you going pirate style with the knife earlier? Should be concerned? No, I don't. Never be concerned. Oh, also, this meme was just one of the many quality memes that was posted in the Discord, apparently. So if you guys are subscribers, or if you're not subscribers, be subscribers, and then you can sign up, you can head on over to the Discord, which is pretty sweet. There we go. So like I said, Mana Traders just opens the trade. You get your little cardums. They're all ready, ready for you to go. And then you just submit, and then you're good to go. Oh... Come on, Cinder Vines. Let's go. Let's go, Cinder Vines. And then we just confirm, and then we get some free cards. No, they're not free. You're just renting them, guys. Take it easy. Cinder Vinerinos. That's not it. Cinder. Yep. Yeah. Let's get rid of the Rex Sages. All right, I don't. I wish I knew like a card I wanted to change here, but I don't really know any cards that didn't really work out for us there. I almost want a second Raging Ravine over another. Yeah, let's actually put a second Raging Ravine in here. We have a lot of one drops, but we can also be like uh, turn one drop Raging Ravine, turn two two one drops, or turn one one drop Raging, turn two Raging Ravine another one drop. Those are options. One Cinder Vines, one Rex Age. One beer. Also another Cinder Vines because it's probably better than Rex Age. And we're going to play Teamer Rhythm.
It's a beautiful hand. See, like this, we can just go turn one bird into rhythm. And then, like, you don't actually need to put Gargadon into suspend mode until you really need it, so it's not really like a one drop. Let's go get a Stomperino. I was on a state till saying that song came on, felt like I was in the Twilight Zone. Now I'm no, the Twilight Zone is a song by the Steve Miller band, I believe. Now I'm stepping into the Twilight Zone. No, that's a song by Golden Earring, I guess. I thought that was a Steve Miller Man song. I'm thinking of Abracadabra, I guess. Man, Cyborg U at the gold. They're like, no. It was Golden Earring. Um. No, not do that. Oh, do we get to Rhythm and gold Glenelendra next turn? The curtain is drifting on my right side? This side? Oh, you're right, it is. I blame Hunter for that one. Man, you guys were getting a sneak peek. I'm three margs and two hot dogs deep, y'all. Are you at a sporting event watching me? <sighs> All right, so they're playing Tron. That's pretty okay with me. That's okay with me. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's from Mario Brothers. You guys remember Mario Brothers? That's a good game. So we can do. I am afraid of them just dropping a deuce on us. That's a doo doo. Um, I feel like getting a steam vents and going to twelve is fine here. I am really, I'm really worried about Oblivion Stone here. I don't. That's why I'm not playing. We could play Bird, give it haste, and then play Glenelinger off of the Bird. But I'm really afraid of just losing it all to an Oblivion Stone. So. Random thoughts on MTG. The other day I revealed my opponent's Dream Stealer with Thought Erasure. And felt like everyone's shit friend who's ever spoiled a surprise. Wait, why? What's Dream Stealer? What am I thinking of? Okay, so we're good. I think we're in good shape here. I think. I'm going to look this up. Six man, Yeah, the six mana mythic one, right? The four five? Dream Eater. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, Dream Stealer? Isn't that just some like weird Lorwyn card? Yeah, that guy. Oh, wait. Can't we just... We can just Greater Gargadon here, can't we? No, because this costs... We have to... No, we have to have spells to sacrifice. I'm stupid. No, wait. We sacrifice this. It keeps coming back, right? Oh man, look what we're doing here. We can also play this as a 3 3, and this is a 3 3, so this is like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage, and we have a lightning bolt. Are they dead here? Guys, I think they're. No, they're going to go to 1, aren't they? No, because this is. Yeah, they're going to go to 1. I guess we could just give them one more turn and we'll keep up Glenelinger Archmage and hope they don't have Emrakul. Or, you know, the other dude. 
Oh, this guy goes to 10, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is 10, 11, 12, 15. No, we don't have it. Vargas. Who's Vargas? Whatever. We'll just put them to 8. And we'll keep up infinite counter spells for anything they want to do. And then they got to deal with the Greater Gargadon. Wow, Greater Gargadon OP, man. I like that you're auto-corrected to Vargas. <laughs> As if, like, you've written, uh, l l like, Louis Scott Vargas enough that it's, that it's just an auto-correct. All right, that was good. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in Crumble to Dust because it's just it's fantastic. We take out the ooze, bring in Negates. Um, Lightning Bolt's kind of meh. Yeah, Fraction Gust is probably better than the other Lightning Bolt, to be quite honest. That seems oh Cinder Vines meh. Yikes, this hand is pretty stupid. I'm gonna mulligan. I think we can do better. Um Yeah, this is a little better. It's not great, don't get me wrong, but Now I'm stepping into the twilight zone. If you yourself could be have one mechanical, would it be probably flying? Look at these mismatched lands. Come on, if you're playing Tron, at least at least try to counteract how how classless you are by playing decent matching lands. Oh no! What? All right, well, I figured you'd be using that for, like, the Persist creatures that are clearly a combo in my deck, but I guess you just got to crack that when you got it. Crack them when you got them. Kelpie? Oh, I just can't kelp myself here. So we have a breeding pool. We're probably just going to get the steam vents. We're probably dead, though. They're probably just going to go, Urzel's Tower, Karn, and I'm just going to be like, very good. Very good. Oh, a forest. Well, good for you. A forest with no, like, no ancient stirring, no sylvan scrying? I guess we're going to get a steam vents here. Because now we have all the... I like having all the different lands. Um, I just, you know what? I'm not going to pretend I have a counter spell here. I'm just going to play a Kitchen Finks because... I've never cracked Wooded Foothills. Can you describe the sensation? Is, is it anything like biting into a York Peppermint Patty? Let me tell you something, buddy. Nothing is like biting into a York Peppermint Patty. York Peppermint Patties are one of my favorite candies. If I was rich, I would literally buy a house and fill it with York Peppermint Patties and just eat them all day. And people would be like, isn't that going to make you fat? And I'd be like, God, I hope so. And that would be my life. That would be my my York Peppermint Patty life. Would you, would you rather have Persist or the one that gives you a plus one, plus one counter when you die so that you become stronger? <clears throat> undying yeah and undying sounds better than persist right like because your second life is just better than your first life but your first life isn't bad here we go top deck tower i'm starting to stabilize put your tower into play oh you're gonna go sylvan scrying in the tower sure like you do guys i'm gonna go have dinner i'm leaving the big York patties are the best. The smaller ones are fine, but you get one of the big ones. Yeah, you're like, this is it. I'm living my life. This is my... Oh. I don't actually care about that as much. Huh. 
What would I do for a clonic bar? Not much. I actually find the clonic con bars are pretty pretty meh. This is interesting. I feel like we have to play Blasting Station here, which is fine. And then next time we can like play River Kelpie, and then we have infinite sack outlets, and they're like Murderous Redcap is good. Like we can actually block here and then sacrifice this guy to shoot them. What would you do for a Klondike bar? What do you do? Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. That is a lot. That is a lot. Um. You, you floated 11 mana to do this? It's funny because if... Eh, I guess if we had Greater Gargadon, it wouldn't be a problem. That's interesting. I want to I save this, but I also don't want to like lose to an Ugin or a Karn. So we're going to let it go. I feel like we should have just taken the two. We're at 20. We should have taken the two and left two counters up. But then, like... Oh, for fudge sakes. Come on. Yep, your deck's terrible. I hate you. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. This deck is just so stupid. Alright, so... Anything we wouldn't have done? Not really. Everything seems good. I like Crumble a lot. Fracturing Gusts is, might be worth some Cinder Vines, actually. Don't even give that don't even give that sad face. You know what this was. Yikes. Triple greater gargadon is not really where I want to be. Single greater gargadon is better, I guess. We basically traded two gargadons for one blasting station with this hand. I mean, if we can top take a land and a crumble, I'd be really on board with it. I'll actually keep that. That seems good. Come on, let's go. Stomper. I like how we kept the negate, but then we shuffled it away with a stomping ground. Oh, all right. Well, now we got a. Now we got a life. Worth living. Red, green, one. All right, well. A frozen Charleston chew, eh? This hand's a little I think we can cut one frozen one one river kelpie for like one more noble hierarch, probably. Oh, two two power plants is that's a nice that's a nice thing to see. Urza's tower. Okie dokie. I would really love to draw one of the crumbles. I have yet to draw or play any of them. I 
Yeah, we'll just play this guy here. Okay. Oh, one more mana. Actually, we one more mana that wins us the game. I, I, interestingly enough, let's suspend you. Right, we can just sack it every turn to. Yep, never don't have that. Nine mana, huh? Ugin, negative three. Worm coil again? Oh, man. No, I'm good. Come on, one land off the top. Don't have something. St you have three mana? All right, that's fine. You're going to crack this for a green and nature's claim my blasting station? I guess we have Gargadon. No, Gargadon doesn't win us the game, though. Oh, wonderful. Wow, they never don't have it, do they? You have to get three different types of lands. I can't even get three lands in general. And then, like... Man, if only you didn't have nature's claim, that would be so sweet. I mean, I guess we could top deck. We could top deck a second rhythm. I don't see that happening, though. Oh, you're just going to add a million and probably play like a walking ballista? For one, two, three, four. Yeah, a little mog ceaseless hunger, sure. Fascinating. It's funny because we actually still win if, like, no, we don't because now it has a counter on it. Yep. Sure. I almost feel like I want four crumbles. Like,. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna cut one greater gargadon too. We don't need three. We don't need four of them. That's a bit much. So we're gonna cut one of you. Uh, we're gonna add another crumble to the sideboard because the Tron is the Tron is stupid, and probably add one more blasting station. I think those are decent things to do. Actually. What about Ceremonious Ceremony, Rejection? That card is great. Oh, 
Uh, we have crumble instead of fulminator mage. Fulminator mage just doesn't really do much. I'd rather just crumble there. If we have, if we're getting rid of, uh, because that those don't give us. I mean, we could we could use we could use cord, but I mean, cord. I found cord is mostly too slow. Collective company doesn't do anything because we doesn't get our murderous red cap, which is like our win condition, or are any of the artifacts that are also like win conditions. Plus, there's just not enough creatures to hit. Like, we have... Yeah, we only have, like, 15 creatures to hit in the deck, so we have 25% of the deck as creatures. That costs three or less. Am I still online? What's going on? I guess we're just waiting in the queue. We're just waiting in the queue. Oh, oh. oh yeah. What are we, 1-1 one, one right now? That seems fine. That's a fine record to beat Storm and lost to Tron. match fire I think it did it did not I lied to you well oh now we did it Frexian MTG sand's not terrible I would like it if we had a bird Oh, well, we're just going to... Oh, yeah, that thing's dead. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So this is a combo, right? Like all three of these? c, -c, -c combo When it's put into the battlefield from the graveyard, draw three cards. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Perilous research is gas. Like, if they go to kill something, you just draw two and sack the thing they're going to kill. That seems nice. Twenty-four lands. Twenty-three lands? Do we just want another land? Maybe we want another noble hierarch?
I felt like 23 was enough, but like if we hit any land, we just go over them. Like we need a few more turns, but I think we're actually. Uh... Yeah, you guys, you know. Oh, another hatching plants. What is even happening? Whatever it is, I'm enjoying it. We're having a good time. Less having less of a good time. I'm just gonna go to the next game. <laughs> this is not. No. I hate games like this. I hate games where I just don't even get to just don't even get to draw my fifth land. Do we just want to cut River Kelly to put more of the combo pieces in? I don't know. I don't know. I would bring in Cinder Vines, but like, what are we going to do? Kill their hatching plans with it? That doesn't even seem good. I think we're actually fine like this. Take your protein pound and put your helmet on. Oh, this is a ground control to Major Tom. You really made the grade. And the people want to know who's shown you where. Ground control to Major Tom, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong, can you hear me, Major Tom? All right, well. Why are you in the way of my deck? Unbelievable. Just the rudest. Oof. Get out of here with that guy. That guy's good. All right, hope you don't have any more of that guy. No more of that guy. That guy's fine. I like that guy a lot. Uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. We want to counter. All right, I want you to tap out for something stupid so we can blasting station your brain. Can you do that? Make it so. That's what they say in the Enterprise. And chat, it is time for me to go to bed. Thanks for giving me something to do on another resident event for Friday. Even looking forward to watching the rest of this. Cyborg Yui, have a good, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. All right, that is a dude I don't care about. Okay, what else you got? Don't be. That's also fine. Don't be. A Kasali prod mage. No, 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 no. I guess we're just taking six. I guess we could have blocked, right? Guy just comes back. Doesn't matter? I don't know. It doesn't matter, but it's a worse play, obviously. Boop, 
Okay, well now if they play Kasali Pride Mage, it just dies. They could have also, like, uh, made us block and then killed this in response to the block so that we don't get the riot trigger, but... Okay. Okay. We're making records. I think they're dead here. So what if I do one of these jobbies? What if I say, hey buddy, blasting station. I'm going to shoot you and sacrifice my dude. Uh, we have to put it in such a way. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because it's tapped immediately, so. Always yes, always yield. You gonna make me go through this? We know what's going on. Come on. I mean, I'll do it, but like, I'm not at risk of timing out here, my dude. Okay, we win the game. Woo! Blasting station. Kill his team. Teach him a lesson. God, we already had so many things to do. I feel like River Kelpie might be too cute here, but boy, do I like a River Kelpie. <sighs> Can you hear me, Major Tom? Planet Earth is ruled and there's nothing I can do. Why is the song so weird? River Kelpie does says win the game. It's just like, draw a million cards, guys. That's totally fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to keep this hand because it just has some solid dudes and all the lands I need for the solid dudes. Ooh, come on, Bird of Paradise. You're not bird of paradise. You'll never be a bird of paradise. We're gonna get a breeding pool. Flagstones, that's nice with perilous research. So is Rancor actually. Rancor is a good one with perilous research too. You sack the Rancor, it just comes right back. Man, this deck is actually pretty sweet. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. We'll lead off with the scavenging news. Malira doesn't do much right here. Every deck needs more Mystic Snake, let's be real. That's a good dude. Oh, I see. Well, isn't that something? Isn't that special? Well, we're definitely getting another breeding pool here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just want to play Kitchen Finks here. Or, no, I think it's actually Bird Malira. We're going to take a hit from this guy, but I think that's fine. Oh, you're not blocking. Didn't think so. I have, sign I have a signer from you and Ali. I put them together. That's awesome, dude. I love it. Oh, I love it.
Yeah, we're going to wait to play Kitchen Finks because then we can just play Kitchen Finks with Malira out and then it just never dies. It persists forever. <sighs> well, they got a blue source now, so that's nice. How many green sources? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 green sources on turn 1. Blue sources are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then red sources are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. That's a good distribution at least. Are we still waiting? Take five. It's a lot. Ooh, Glenelander Archmage. That's also good. Yeah, I think we're just going to play Glenelander first. One, two, three, four. And we're definitely not blocking with either of these, so. The nice thing about Perilous Research is you draw two cards and then sacrifice a permanent. Like, sacrificing the permanent is not part of the cost. So, if their means of doing so is through an enchantment, we do get to counter that. Or through, per if their means of sacking is through Perilous Research, we do get to counter that. Well, had to be done. We can still block here too, so. Unless they go like Path, Rancor, Rancor, I guess we're dead. <laughs> if those are your three cards in hand. Although if we draw Blasting Station, we win, right? Keep sacking Glenelander Archmages. Man, there's a lot, of, a lot of delays here, guys. <laughs> Slow opponent is right. I'm just trying to combo you out. 
Why don't you let me combo you out? Okay. Well, we're going to block here because it comes back either way. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, do they have a Dramoka's command? Oh, that would be gas. They make themselves sacrifice their own hatching plans. That's very good. They're picking their modes. Yep, I had a feeling. I had a feeling, a feeling deep inside. That was that was a very that was sick. Although, I mean, the Pride Mage still dies, so. No, 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 no. I mean, that's worse because Kitchen Finks is not immortal anymore. So we have seven of these components. We have seven uh, Malira slash Rhythm of the Wild components. And we have like five sack outlets in the form of. No, I think we have six, right? Th two and now oh, we only have, we only have five now. Angelic purge, exile an artifact. A cre that's the one you exile. That guy doesn't do anything. No, and we can go green, green. Take the last train to Clarksville. Stony Silence. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I have one artifact in my deck. Like, I mean, if we happen to draw it, that sucks, but I'm not going to be too concerned. Yeah, also fine. That's a little more obnoxious. I actually want to get rid of this because they get to a point where they can just like sack it, replay it, sack it, replay it, sack it, replay it, make that dude huge with trample. And that's pretty scary. This deck is sweet though. Oh, they're just going to get rid of the Sunny Silence? Sure. It's a weird. That would be a great draw here. Rhythm of the Wild would be great. Followed by, like, Blasting Station. Ugh. I mean, I guess that's fine. You have three cards in hand. Tarmogoyf's fine. Let's crack this now. I sure was going to crack it last turn, but we have six. Don't think we're going to need that. Lightning Bolt. Fascinating. Does that do anything? We can attack with this guy and then Lightning Bolt at Tarmogoyf. We can attack with both and then they just block here and here. I guess that's actually fine. It leaves us with a Tarmogoyf. Or a... They kind of have to block here. Right? Right? 
right, guys? Maybe not. Alright, well... Evolutionary Leap actually seems great. Wow, that's really good. I like that a lot. Yeah, of course we drop Rhythm of the Wild now, right? After this guy has died already. And we're still gonna attack for both, like... Yeah, Leap sounds really good. I like that a lot. Three Steam Vents. Let's cut a Steam Vents and add another Stomping Ground because we want a lot of green sources. Evolution. It also it, it lets us rely on um, things like Greater Gargadon less. Also... It goes to the hand, right? Oh, does it go to the hand? Of course it goes in your hand. What was I thinking? We can play one evolutionary leap over one like Greater Gargadon, I think. Oh, they Bant Charmed one? That's weird. This bird of paradise is going to do some do some heavy lifting here, guys. What is this? What's this? What's this? Tamio. Sure. Who are the two creatures? Ours? Okay. We should have said that. Uh, whenever either of those creatures does combat damage, you draw a card. Fascinating. Well, you're not going to trick me, buddy. Gross. So now we get to shuffle into Kitchen Finks and we get to. Well, don't like that. Back in the high life again. Is that a song about Miller? The Miller High Life. Where's the electro dominance when you need? I'll just burn their face for one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for eight. No, they're definitely hitting this. Big Kelps Kelporama hmm. 
I really don't like this Tammy ultimate. playing back to nature and you have detention spheres and infinite enchantments i don't understand you're playing stony silence detention sphere hatching play back to nature you boarded him back to nature i don't understand anything this deck seems sweet but a lot of these choices are not making sense to me It's also whenever they deal combat damage, not to a player, so. <sighs> Jesus, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. Thirteen out of out of twenty-three lands. Meanwhile, let's take out spells. One, two, three, two of which are creatures. Uh four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to thirteen. When there are twice as many spells as lands in the deck. That is just great. Felt like we were in good shape after we had that rhythm on the board. And then we drew nothing. And then they drew Tameo. And then they drew Distension Sphere. And then they drew Pride Mage. And it was like, okay, well. We've drawn land, land. River Kelpie. Fascinating. I mean, this puts us in like, oh, you have to draw a creature or a removal spell or else you die, so. Well, that's good. Now we have to draw two things. I don't actually think there's a thing we can draw that would save us here. That's definitely not it. Cool. Well, we tried. So I like one evolutionary leap, one Gargadon. Blasting station is like a win con. We have another hierarchy. Alright, we'll give it one more shot. I'm going to keep it just because of the bird. What could go wrong? They kill your bird and you have no second land. Oh, is it burn? No. It is. Yep. Chalice on one. What would Lloyd Braun do? Wow, that's a solid reference. The deck list says you're playing... Well, I'm clearly not. So... You might say it's wrong. You might. 
might say it is wrong. Quick silver amulet? What the shit is going on? <sighs> this is not fun. I'll just like draw land and then just kill them with a murderous red cap through Blood Moon Chalice. That would be pretty hilarious. I assume they're going to put a Blight Steel. No, they didn't put anything. Okay. Come on, one more land. Just any land. It literally doesn't matter. Fine. Uh, we, we haven't played. Why, why are you guys advocating playing Bird? We haven't played. It's turn five. It's turn three or four. Like, we haven't played Bird because they have a Chalice on one. Like, are you guys serious right now? We would have played Bird on turn one if we if they didn't have a Chalice on one. Oh, wonderful. Another Bird. <laughs> That's just mono birds, guys. They're mono birds all the way down. Oh, it can't be countered now. You're right. Because of the... Oh, wow. I totally forgot about the rhythm. That, that part of rhythm is always... Uh, it's the it's the one ability I constantly forget. That's insane. Alright, well, let's just draw land and it won't, have to, it won't matter, right? Okay. I'm going to say always yes and always yield to this. One, two. I'm just going to do the one bird for now. They shouldn't be able to deal with this. Uh, one, one counter. One, one counter. One, one counter. And we also get to shoot them for five. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sure, persist. One, one. Oh, we just win the game. Wow. <laughs> we get to fight through a chalice, a blood moon, and a quicksilver amulet. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. We're going to take out the Kelpies. And we're going to bring in Cinder Vines. <laughs> uh, I kind of like Ceremonies Rejection here as well. Take out one Finx. Take out one Archmage just because it's kind of slow. Actually, Scooze can go. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Yeah, I considered Eldritch Revolution. I just wasn't sure, like, like if you cut River Kelp, really, River Kelp is one of the best cards to go get with Eldritch Revolution, I think. All right, we're going to give it a go. Triple Rhythm is not where you want to be, but... Well, they're on the play, too. That's, this hand's weird. Oh, we should have actually mistied into a, a forest. Um, yeah, we're just going to get Stomping Ground and play Hierarch here. Yeah, that's what we, like, we just we just did it. We just realized it too slow. Chalice on one. <laughs> it's fashionably late to the party. Uh, Wooded Foothills is great. We can get a forest. But here we're going to get an island 
Nope, gotta be green, red, rhythm. I moved here from Canada and they think I'm slow, eh? Everybody take out your circle of paper. Forest. Mono rhythms. I love that I can just ramble and it's understood here. And Homer, if you want to kill anybody on the way out, it helped me out a lot. Oh, they're just missing mono land drops, so we're just beating the red prison deck. Just, just absolutely. I actually feel like this Noble Hierarch might have outlived its usefulness because we have five actual lands now. So we might just actually... Turns out they're all on third. That's the Hammock District. Yeah, let's do one of these jobbies. Ooh, a Malira. Is it Malira or is it Malira? Nobody knows. Discard World Spine Worm. Shuffle it back in. You got it. A Wooded Butt Hills. This is just going to get another, another forest here. One, 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 one. Could I actually play rhythm number two. Or number three, rather. Pyretic ritual, sure. Desperate ritual, sure. And we're dead. I see. Is there anything we could have done there? If we sacked Malira, we'd have gotten a bird. That's not great. Okay. Well, through the breach is an instant, so I'm definitely bringing in dispels here. That's brutal. Would it be too weird to call you Frank Daddy, or is it just weird enough? It would be too weird. I think it's weird enough that Kevin Jones is called Daddy. Let's get a red-green stomper. I mean, technically, they can go uh, land, Simeon Spirit Guide, Ritual, Ritual, Through the Breach, right? Like, that is an option. No, it has to be double rituals, right? That's a good draw. A, four, a third land would be nice here. Yeah, this is actually okay because of both Cinder Vines and because of Bird.
both of these are a win on board, right? Yeah, it's gotta gotta be gotta be the thing. I just hope they don't if they don't kill us, then we're good to go. Always yes. And always yield. I messed with start of this deck is something you liked, or did you just pick up and build? We just picked I just wanted to uh I just wanted to play rhythm and modern again, and I thought persist and rhythm was super cool because like it's just kind of cancels itself out. Oh wow. Oh, we're in the beginning of combat, which is nice. Unless they're gonna beginning of combat, Emrakul? No, alright, well. Oh wow, we just top to go. Let's sacrifice this one. Always yield to that. Sudden Shock Malira. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Pyretic ritual, dude. That's fine. Quicksilver amulet. That's also fine. So next time we're dealing one, cast this guy. That's two, three. Sack this guy. That's four. Yeah, that's fine. You're not gonna be able to activate that. I think we. I think we can kill you here. In order to save mana, we might actually want to uh, crack the Cinder Vines now. They're not going to cast any more spells by then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can deal six here. Oh, no. One, two. Yeah, this is, this is definitely lethal. Right? Um, put this on the stack first. Wait, what's going on now? Oh, the game just ended. All right, I was like, what's going on? All right, so not too bad, not too bad. 3-1, uh, no, 2-2, two, 2-2, two. Two, two, right? We lost to the enchantment deck and we lost to Tron. I don't know, the deck's pretty fun. Like, if you guys uh, are looking for something cool to play, I think this is a decent option. And the, the number of combos between like Malira and Rhythm and Blasting Station, and Gargadon, and all the Persist creatures is pretty nice. You can't stupid Chalice? What about the Chalice? We couldn't Lightning Bolt. I mean, we could do everything else though, right? Like, we can cast Red Cap, we can... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of those links are in the description below. You can also check out Mana Traders. The link and the promo code are in the description below that will give you 20% off your first three months. You can also check out coolstuffinc.com. Those are there you find my articles and you get 5% off with Frank5. And you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check those links out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.